Hello, I'm Kevin Birchelman, and this is Brazen Myths of Leadership. Today's topic, monkey see, monkey do, <laughs> or for leading by example. <laughs> Funny thing, you know, when we talk to leaders uh, and managers about, uh, about leading in most companies, they'll hear that we hear the same thing. Uh, well, we should lead by example. Well, yes, but uh, you already lead by example. All leaders lead by example every single waking day. You don't have a choice in the matter. Uh, the fact that you showed up means you're on stage, you're leading by example. The question is, what kind of example? Good example? Bad example? Wonderful? Crappy? What kind of example? Setting some example is merely a function of coming to work. It doesn't take a lot of effort. We create examples in ways not always obvious, too. For example, <laughs> in our expectations of others, when we allow crazy behavior, behavior that uh, not otherwise condone or support in the organization, we allow it to go unchecked by select few. Rest assured that others will see and they'll emulate it. And don't ask me why, a psychologist I'm not, but the worse the behavior, the more, the more widespread the perceived acceptance. People will emulate bad behavior faster than they will good behavior. Again, I don't know why. And don't kid yourself. Merely because you think everyone knows something is inherently wrong uh, doesn't mean that they won't still do it anyway. When they see it's okay for others to do it, and yes, acquiescence is the same as acceptance, they'll do it. And here, for example, so here's an example. I have an example. I was at the Masters Golf Tournament in Augusta, Georgia about, oh, I don't know, two or three years ago. Now, many of you know, um, or you may know, that the folks at Augusta National, the actual golf club that, that sponsors the Masters, they're a fanatic about their rules. They're absolutely nuts, loony about them on 100% enforcement on all the rules, all the time, no matter what. So we were in line to get in. You know, the security line is not unlike an airport trying to get into to Augusta National. So we were in line early one morning for a practice round. That's when we go. One of the rules, a uh, pretty significant rule, is no hard seated chairs. Now you can carry in a wide variety of seats, camping chairs, lawn chairs, etc., provided they have soft seats. The reason, of course, is they don't want you later standing on those hard seats, blocking the pristine Augusta view from others. That just wouldn't do. Well, you knew what happened. Just in front of us was a group of three guys. They saw the signs, read them. Uh, you saw them pointing, discussed it quietly amongst themselves. Then they decided, what the hell? We'll give it a shot. They thought that they wouldn't get caught. Wrong. Cold busted. The gate marshal came up to the guy carrying the chair and stated flatly, that can't come inside the grounds. To which this 40-something, fully formed adult male responded, well, why can he do it then? Pointing to another gentleman about 15 feet in front of him. True story. I mean, that's right. His complete rationale for doing what he knew to be wrong and, and knew in advance was wrong. His complete rationale was that someone else is doing it and you haven't said anything to them, so why are you saying something to me? Don't kid yourself, this is not nearly as much of an anomaly as we would like it to believe. It happens in our organization. You know it does, you're nodding your head as you're listening to me. The behavior we allow, we promote. No different than if we were modeling the actual behavior ourselves. Think about that when you feel like it's just too much trouble to correct some uh, seemingly isolated but negative behavior in your staff. If a non-negotiable something or another that sim simply cannot occur, you, you have to address it and get a commitment to stop the errant actions going forward. If not, be prepared. It'll spread like wildfire and you are largely personally responsible. You've got to nip it in the bud. I'm Kevin Birchelman. Be bracing.